Uh, Devontae, when's the last time you dominated the boards like that? Uh, uh, freshman year. <laughs> <laughs> the coach talked about that they have big guards and that that'll be a, a component tomorrow night. These guys, are, <laughs> the guards are going to have to rebound. Yeah, we definitely are. Um, the guards crash the boards hard. Yeah. Both, at both ends of the floor. Juwan, they've got a couple. I mean, they got a, a couple big guys that you kind of have to deal with right around the rim, but also McDuffie, a guy that can play big, can play a little bit smaller. Just what's the challenge this front court is going to present you from Wichita State? Uh, I think you hit the nail on the head. You know, just they have a lot of um, love versatility. They have a lot of big guys. Uh, they can play any which way, really. Um, they got guys that are good around the basket and then also good at altering shots without fouling. So I think um, it's just going to take a high level of focus, just uh, keying in on finishing around the basket and also driving the kick and not trying to uh, challenge shot blockers. For both of you guys, after you get past the, the disappointment of not playing in the NCAA tournament, the crowd that was here on Saturday had to be uh, electrifying for you guys. How do you feed off of that? Um, just, you know, them giving us energy on uh, defense plays, great plays that we have. You know, I think uh, they did a great job uh, just cheering us on, and I think we did a good job giving them something to cheer for. John, this is the first time that you're certain this is your last game in Assembly Hall. You know, <laughs> have you thought about that at all? Uh, no, I think, you know, all the emotions with it being my last game went out with uh, at Rutgers. So, yeah. uh, you know, it's just another game. We got to uh, be ready to play and come out uh, to win. Barring anything unforeseen, you're going to finish in the top 25 scores all time here. Given the history of the program, what does that mean to you? Um, it's a lot of points, you know, that's a lot of points to be scored. And I uh, couldn't do it without all the teammates that I've had all four years. Coach Miller said something about just that once you get past the first game in this tournament, then you're just back to playing ball. I mean, does this feel just normal again? I mean, do you feel like you've gotten past a lot of, like, the emotional points that dealing with not making the tournament, are you back to just feeling like you're playing basketball games again? Uh, I definitely think that. Um, you can kind of tell uh, after they announced the tournament uh, field that every, all the guys are kind of disappointed and nobody uh, really wanted to, like, practice or anything. You can kind of feel it, but I think once uh, the actual game they got here, guys were uh, had a lot different mentality and I think guys are ready to play and uh, as you can see we won the last two so I think uh, guys are feeling more and more great about going into this postseason. Tomate, I saw you nodding there. Do you feel the same way? Basically, does this feel, just feel like normal basketball? Uh, again? Yeah, I would agree. I think um, after the disappointment, you know, we got that out of the way. I think we just started to just play basketball again. Tomate, if you're fortunate enough to win tomorrow night, uh, get to go back to NYC. Is that, is that a good carrot at the end for you? Definitely a great feeling and um, how I would like to end the season. And um, it's always fun playing in front of home crowd. How many, how many people do you think would be there? Obviously, you play the U-ball, play the ball, you know, Lou Hines. Like, what would the support be like for you back in the um, There'd be a lot of people there. <laughs> <laughs> Devontae, over the weekend, one of your tattoos was getting a lot of uh, interest on the internet. Uh, could you just talk a little bit about what it means to you? Um, I mean, I was surprised when I seen that it was everywhere, but um, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't really know. What, what's, what, what's the yeah. question? The, uh, the GTA yeah. tattoo, the cheat code. So I thought of it when um, I was I was just thinking of tattoo ideas, and I was like, well, basketball wise, I think I'm a cheat code. You know, I said people tell oh, you're a cheat code, you can't play. So I was like, maybe hey, I should get a cheat code tattoo. I noticed there were 2K cheat codes, so I went down the GTA list, and when I seen that one, I was like, oh, yeah, that one's perfect. When did you get that? Uh, I think back in August last year. Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. I was uh, surprised I noticed. Okay, anything else for you guys? Uh, Devontae, 37 right, minutes, last two games. Like how hard it's up and under your body? Like is that more than? Are you more than fine playing through that? Uh, I mean, without Romeo, I know um, that I might have to play more minutes. So, but uh, I mean, I practice hard uh, every day of the week, so it's not it's not as new really. All right, thanks. Thanks.